Pandemic Studios. They are one of the most influential and successful game developers of the mid-2000s and one of my personal favorite game developers of all time. They were responsible for such titles as the Star Wars Battlefront games, Full Spectrum Warrior, Destroy All Humans, Lord of the Rings Conquest, and Mercenaries. But unfortunately, this powerhouse developer was suddenly shut down in its prime, canceling many well-anticipated games in the process. Games such as Batman The Dark Knight, The Saboteur 2, uh, Mercenaries 3, and Star Wars Battlefront 3, the true successor to the groundbreaking franchise. Not this crap. So, what happened to Pandemic? Well, EA happened. In November of 2005, Pandemic actually teamed up with BioWare, combining their assets under the VG Holding Company, which was a pretty cool gig at the time because this arrangement allowed the two companies to still remain as their own separate brands and identities. But in January of 2008, the VG Holding Company, along with BioWare and Pandemic, would be acquired by Electronic Arts. Only a year later, in February of 2009, EA would shut down Pandemic's office in Brisbane, Australia. In November of that same year, EA confirmed the closure of the once cherished and esteemed studio, laying off 228 employees in the process. EA was subsequently quoted saying, This type of change can be difficult, but the situation calls for us to act decisively, to take control of our destiny, and to run a stronger, more focused development operation. That is how we will continue to make great games in our LA studios. The situation calls for us to act decisively. So it sounds like EA was struggling with money at the time and was getting desperate. Desperate enough to shut down one of their best studios. A studio that would have made them a fortune because they were in development on games like Batman the Dark Knight based off the movie that would have made them a ton of money. They are in development on Mercenaries 3 and that would have made them a ton of money, and me very happy. Oh yeah, and they are in development on Star Wars Battlefront 3, and that would have made them a ton of money. So was shutting down Pandemic Studios a mistake? Hell yes it was. Mercenaries is one of my favorite franchises of all time, and you took that away from me. Destroy All Humans was one of my favorite franchises of all time, and you took that away from me. Star Wars Battlefront was one of my favorite franchises of all time, and you spit in the face of it. Twice. And as to whether or not dissolving Pandemic Studios saved your company from losing money, that's negligible to me, because you destroyed the company and the lives of the people who made the games that pioneered and influenced the style of gameplay that I devote myself to today. And for that, I can never forgive you.